What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Rest Ram team that we can show off for Series 8 on the rank ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But before we actually get started with this uh, team overlay or my team uh, description I want to go over a couple things one you guys can tell your boys got himself a hammer arm and if you guys do not know what hammer arm is it is the thing that connects to my desk so I can have this little microphone chilling in front of my face to get some better audio quality for you guys so if it is sounding better or not sounding good let me know in the comment section down below I'd really love to know and all that stuff plus it helps me sit back in my chair so the lighting hits my face better and makes my face cam look a little bit better as well and also by the time I'm recording this, this is 15 minutes after I just watched the brand new Pokemon Direct. And guys, I am very, very excited for what they announced. They announced some Pokemon Snap details, but more importantly, Gen 4 Diamond and Pearl remakes coming later this year. Yes, sir. Cannot wait to do playthroughs on that and see if they have online content for that. And another game, which was Pokemon Legends Arceus. That game looks phenomenal. I cannot wait to get more details on it and talk about it more. But seriously, let me know in the comment section down below what your guys' thoughts on the Pokemon Direct is, and we will get more in detail of it as this video goes on. But rocking out on this team, we're starting off with Reshiram. It's got, it's got the Turbo Blaze ability with the Life Orb, Dragon and Fire type. We got Blue Flare, Draco Meteor, Earth Power for our coverage move, and Protect as our final move. Right next to him, we got Sableye with Prankster and the Iron Ball. Great little support mon here. Dark and Ghost type with will o -Wisp. Sunny Day so we can control Weather, Trick, and Fake Out. We also got Gyarados right behind my face cam with Intimidate and Citrus Berry. Very, very strong Pokemon. I absolutely love this guy, especially with Intimidate. We got Waterfall for Stab, Power Whip for Coverage, Taunt to taunt some support mods, and Protect. Right next to him, we got the, our Assault Vest Rillaboom with a normal moveset for him with Grass Guide, Knock Off, U-Turn, and Fake Out. Crocodile in the bottom left corner with Intimidate. We got the Choice Scarf on him with High Horsepower for Stab, Darkest Lariat for Stab, Rock Tomb for Coverage, and Scary Face as a nice little support move. Bottom right corner is going to be our total support mon that can actually help control the battle. We got Clefairy with that friend guard, Evo Light, after you follow me, helping hand, and protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked up ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against the Shadow Rider Calyrex team, alongside with Incineroar, Cinderace, Whimsicott, Storm Drain, Gastron, and Tapu Lele to set that Psychic Surge. I want to kind of lead Russian Ramp. But I want to lead my uh, Sableye too. But if he goes into that Psychic Surge, uh, what's it called is not going to do nothing. Our pranks are little boy, Sableye. He's going to do nothing there. Um, he has an Intimidate Mon. I also have an Intimidate Mon, which I am going to bring for that Cinderace. Because that thing is annoying. It, it is really, really, really annoying. I'm going to probably bring Crocodile. Maybe actually lead Crocodile. Just uh, for that, what's it called? Just for that, uh... Who was that? The Shadow Rider Calyrex. I am intimidated on this Crocodile, right? I think I am. Where's my Where's my ability? Where's my ability at? There it is. Intimidate. Okay, so we are intimidated on that. I kind of want to lead you. But at the same time, I want to lead you. And I think I'm special attacking here with Earth Power. Yeah, I'm definitely special attacking at 100%. Yeah, with Draco Meteor, all that stuff. All right, so we're special attacking there. Um, He might go in with the Tailwind. I actually want to lead you. And if I go Sable, I think I choose Scarf up here. I go with you, and then I bring you in the back end alongside with Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom can come in clutch in late game. Where do I go Cl Clefairy? Nah, we're going to go Rillaboom. We're going to try to bulk up on this front end, try to get ourselves a win in battle number one. But guys, I'm like a perfectionist when it comes to like the audio and like my face cam and the lighting situation, all that good stuff. So let me know if you guys have any like tips or uh, have any like, I don't even know, opinions on my face cam, whether it's too red, whether my audio is too loud, any of that stuff. I'm trying to make everything sound great and look great for you guys so my content is as best as it can be. But yeah, I'm actually liking this hammer arm because I used to have my uh, my mic on a stand. Oh, we get off a beautiful double intimidate here. This is lovely. But I used to have my mic on a stand. So it used to like block a little bit in front of me and I used to like have to sit a little bit closer so the light would bounce off my face a little bit more. But now that I'm sitting back more the lighting actually sits perfect, the webcam face is in a good position and the mic can still be close to my pretty little face here. <laughs> but Double Intimidate comes out here and he also gets to Intimidate out on us so we're kind of sitting good here. I can still go into a waterfall which I will go into Incineroar because I can see him swapping out, uh, what's it called? I might double up into Incineroar here. I can see him swapping out that Cinderace. Right? With a fake out. Or something like that but that's minus two i think he's gonna swap this uh the cinderace and go for a fake out yep there you go so we're doubling up into the cinderace slot and he is gonna drop a 
Whimsy. A nice little Whimsy out here. And a fake house is going to come across to my Crocodile slot. Okay. We flinch in, and we're going to go for a Waterfall straight onto that instantly. Let's do some big damage on that thing. There we go. Beautiful. Half that thing's health. So another shot. We can actually take it out. So I'll go for... Actually, actually I want to go for a Taunt here. I can get that off just so... I mean, he'll get off a Tailwind, no problem. But I am Choice, so we'll be able to take you out here. We will be able to take the boy out here. We can say bye-bye to uh, Incineroar. Even though we're minus one, I think this still KOs. But still, that, that Incineroar is minus two. And if he swaps in Incinerate, we're still going to do some big damage. So we know what Pokemon he has. I kind of want to keep an Intimidate Pokemon for the back. So I might swap Crocodile out in a little bit. Just so we have our Choice Scarfmon in the back end. But we are going to taunt up here on the, to the Whimscott. Just so it can't like helping hand anything. It's definitely going to be able to get off a Tailwind here. Oh, it's going to be able to start Fake Tearing. So whoever we fake tier, I'm definitely going to a swap out. So Gyarados is probably going to get the swap after this. I horsepower coming out here. You take him out. Pick up the KO. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's the KO there. So, yo, he's fake tiering on me, dropping my stats. Yo, what you mean? Let me taunt you up. Let me taunt you up. I'll swap Gyarados out here because it's minus one and it's minus two from the intimidate and the fake tiers. And uh, this thing's going to have to look to go for a moon blast. So in that case, I'm going to bring out the Rillaboom. And he's going to bring back out Cinder. And I wonder what Cinderace is going to do here. I could protect here and just start choice scarfing. So I might just protect. I mean, that thing is physical, but I really do want to swap. And get out a Soul Fest boy. Because then I can go for a fake out. I could knock off. I can do a lot here. So I'm going to swap you, and I am just going to drop a high horsepower. I've got Scary Face. Scary Face slows down speed, which could be nice in certain situations. But I really want to get off this high horsepower because it's definitely orb. It's 100% orb. There's no way it's weakness policy. But my thoughts on the new Pokemon Direct. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm hyped. I'm hyped for uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They went with the more cartoony graphics way on that one. And I'm, I'm fine with it. I think the game's going to bring back a lot of nostalgia. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be an awesome playthrough for me to do on the channel. And hopefully there is some online content I can do as well there. And then we also have... Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, which looks crazy. It looks like a great direction that the Pokemon company can go into for their next mainstream game. I just think we need more details before I give like a final decision, but first thoughts, it's looking amazing. It really is looking good. The giant wild area, you can go up and actually catch Pokemon without actually interacting in a battle. I think that's crazy awesome. I really do think that's awesome. But a Knuckles going to come out here and he's going to switch to fighting type and uh, we get off high horsepower there. And Whimscott is going to go for a Moon Blast. It's got to go for a Moon Blast. And that's just going to dump all my Krugadal, no problem. But now I get out my Gyarados. So we're getting, going to get a minus one. Oh, that thing is going to go back to normal. Hmm. Okay. Uh, do I actually get out my, my other guy here? He's going to go for a Gleam. Which we are going to be able to eat up. Do I get out here? That's my real question. I might swap into... Let's actually swap into Rest Ram here. And then get out Intimidate because I'm going to swap out the Will Boom. This one's going to be a good battle. This one's going to be a really good battle. It really is going to be a good battle. But yeah, Arceus or Pokemon Legends looks like it's going into a great direction with the game. I could U-turn. But he outspeeds me, so I really don't want to do that. I'm just going to hard swap. And then I'm going to Dynamax here. And I could get off a Blue Flare, but I am just going to Max one win it instead. Just to get that minus one attack drop onto him. But he's just going to Gleam again. And what can he change to? He might change to Steel. Would he change to Steel? Do you think he's going to I don't think. I don't think so. I think he's going to try to go for a Fire move here. I think he's going to try to go for that Fire move. Go for it, man. I dare you. I dare you. We're getting rolling here. He knows I have the Gyarados. So that is in the back of his head right there. He's going to swap to Women's Cot. So we're going to go swap for swap. And who's he going to send out? He's going to show his third and final mom, which is going to be... I know. He already showed Calyrex, didn't he? Yeah, I believe he did. Didn't he lead Calyrex? No, he did not. He didn't show Calyrex. He let he led the Incineroar and Cinderace. He did not. So this is his fourth and final mon, and we're rolling out here. Come on, I want this win. So far, a decent battle. I'm learning to swap more a little bit and playing swaps because it is very helpful. If you can make the right call with the right swaps, it, it can actually win you some games, which is pretty cool. But we're going to end up Dynamaxing this guy right here, and that Calyrex kind of scaring me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Everyone knows that the, the Shadow Rider and Ice Rider are really, really strong. The Pokemon Direct also came out with a Pokemon Snap little video there, which was pretty cool. It's actually getting me hyped for that. I'm definitely doing a playthrough on that channel. The game looks phenomenal. Like, those are the graphics they should use for any of the next Pokemon games. That really should be it. 
But smart play about for him to go into the airstream. This might take me out. Gyarados, can you eat? He does eat. Okay, I love you, Gyarados. Because Intimidate brought it back to uh the even. And we are gonna drop his attack to minus one now. If I get rid of this uh this guy right here, we should be thriving. Get all get him out of here. Oh my lord, that was so close. That was so close. Are you kidding me? Okay, so my plan here is probably to just go after the, what's called the Shadow Rider Calyrex here. And let my Gyarados fall because I can Grass Guide and take out uh, Incineroar next turn. I could actually protect here. Hmm. I mean, we'll try to Waterfall onto it. So we don't have to waste a turn. I mean, yeah, we'll try that. And then I'll just Worm win again. Yeah, I'm just going to Worm win again. Just get that minus one attack drop. I probably should have Quaked. But I want this big old stab damage here. There's Astral Barrage. Gyarados does go down. Mm. I need my boy eat. I think Gyarados can eat a minus one whatever he has to offer here. And then my Boom can come out here and drop a nice big what's called. Oh, this thing is orb. He's going to go for a Seal Spike, get a defense boost. But Boom's Grassy Guide should be able to come out here and pick up the KO. I think regardless. Here comes the Seal Spike. Should be able to eat. Yeah, beautiful. But he wants that defense boost. And now we should be able to come out here and pretty much be sitting in a good position. Because we might be able to KO with this uh, Wormwood here. Get after it. Get after it. KO this thing. KO this thing. Reshiram is a beast, yo. He's beasting up. He's clutching up. Okay, so now he just has Whimsicott and Cinderace. He just has Whimsicott and Cinderace. And I'm not really worried about that Whimsicott. I'm more worried about this, uh, this what's it called? The Cinderace. Oh, Cinderace is going to get a little bit of HP back. But I still see a grassy guy picking up that KO. He is minus two. I don't see him doing a lot of damage regardless. The nice swap by me. I do have my fake out ready to go, which I probably will just send the fake out instead of Grassy Guide here. Onto the Cinderace slot. I think that that's an easier play. Because say the Grassy Guide doesn't KO, then at least he's flinched. So we are going to go for the fake out, and I do not think this guy's Rock and Protect either. And then I'm going to drop a Flare. Let's get it. Give me that fake out. A good swap by me to go into that fake out, or not, not the fake out. To go into that uh the hard swap onto the garage slot i think that was a good play and he just cancels battle let's get it yo restaurant team getting the show off in battle number one picking up that w now we can hop into battle number two and try to get a win streak rolling gotta definitely watch out here for the xerneas team yes the xerneas and amoongus you can set up the geomancy and absolutely dominate we did a video on that so hopefully it does not come back to bite us with this guy doing the same thing to us. But we're hopping into our second battle. This guy has Dragapult, Amoongus, Lapras. Well, G-Max Lapras, obviously. Probably G-Max uh, Cinderace as well with Thunderous and Xerneas. So definitely powerhouse of a team. Uh, how should I go into this? I kind of want to bring the Clefairy. I think Clefairy is going to be really, really good. I uh, kind of want to bring the what's called as well. I kind of want to lead you. Just in case you want to set up a Geomance, I can go into you. And what else can I do here? I could take his item. I might lead you, yeah. Trick that, uh... Because Prankster should... Would Prankster go before the Rage Powder? I'm not too sure. Timonate could be good here as well. But I'm going to... Actually, no, that's Defiant. He's going to be Defiant. I'm going to bring Rillaboom. Then in the final spot, I do... I have to bring an Intimidate Mon, another hard-hitting Mon. I don't want Clefairy, though. But it's either Clefairy or Sableye. So I either want Gyarados or Crocodile. And I think Crocodile is going to be the better call. For the sheer fact that is it is super effective up against that Cinderace. And, oh no, we didn't get the last pick. And I was going to say, and it's uh, the Electric Wind effective from the from the Thunders. But we did not get our last pick. Hopefully we have a decent team. I think it should still give us the three Pokemon that we did lock in. And the fourth Pokemon, hopefully they, they gave us a little Crocodile luck on that one. But do not switch up my lead. Do not switch up my lead. Please don't switch up my lead. Please do not switch up my lead. Gonna go Amoongus and Lapras. Okay, then I don't mind if you switch up my lead. But okay, my lead's fine. Okay. So Turbo Blaze is coming out here. We have Radiating Blaze area. Um, I can't drop a nice little fake out. And I could go for a blue flare. Blue flare, which I probably am because I really want to get rid of you. And I could fake out the Lapras, but Lapras might mm, Lapras is going to Dynamax. What do I want to do here? Lapras is going to die, Max. Um, I'm going to blue flare you. And maybe I can get off a trick, actually. I'd rather just fake out. If, if uh, Restram goes down, Restram goes down. I can't really swap into anybody else. I can swap into Gyarados. 
No, it, mm, this one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be real tough. I guess we'll fake out. I guess we'll go for a fake out here. This one's gonna be real tough. He's gonna die max lapis and dump all my uh, pressure room. This one's gonna be a tough one for jeans, man. Real tough battle for jeans here. I'm gonna take his policy after this. But this Lapras just comes after me hard. I think we're gonna get absolutely murdered in this battle. The ice is gonna be super effective to my Gyarados, my Rillaboom, my uh my what's called over here, my Rush Ram. Oh no, yo, and this thing protects? This thing protects? Yo, this dude's making some hard reads. Blue Flare comes out, nothing. And he's gonna be able to drop a hard GMAX resonance on me. I don't like one bit. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Later, pup. He actually eats. It's not super effective up against him. This is a fire, but still. Huge protect coming out against him. Now I am going to trick and still drop a blue flare. I think he's just going to start putting me to sleep and stuff. Uh, still a blue flare is going to come out here. But if, if we can waste out turns, I think we should be fine here. I'm going to trick. I'm going to take whatever item you have. So yeah, you'll give that to me. Hopefully it's not a light clay. I really do not hope it's a light clay. Because uh, the, it already got off its uh, GMAX resonance. But thank god for the fire typing. It helps us eat up that shot, shot and we can eat up another one. We give him that iron ball so he's going to be uh, slower. And what do we get? We get his light clay. Yo, what do you mean? I just said please don't be a light clay. He already used it. Blue fire comes out here and just dumps on the moon gets in one shot. Okay, so we like to see that. Um, is he going to go for rain? If he goes for rain, I might just sunny day this next turn. We lose some HP. I think we can eat up another resonance. He's going to go for rain over onto who? You're going to go for rain onto. Reshiram, can you eat, buddy? You do not eat. Oh, man. Oh, man. Life we're doing a sturdy. All right, so I can sunny day here. Um, I can go into Rillaboom. I might have to die match with him. That might be have to be the play. But for now, I am going to get out Gyarados. Is this thing actually G-Max Rillaboom? I got to see this. It is. Okay, so that might be our Dynamax mod choice here. And we're going to get out you. We do have Power Whip on this Gyarados, which can come in handy. But I'm very scared. I'm going to save that Rillaboom. We are a Soul Vessel on it, which is going to be nice. Xerneas is going to pop. Mm. Mm. Xerneas is too good, man. I might trick and give that thing the Light Clay. Timonade's going to do nothing because they're both special attacking. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. They both just chilling here. I could taunt. I am just going to... Actually, actually, I'm going to keep the water, and I'm going to go for a Waterfall. And I believe I am just going to trick onto Xerneas. Give that thing the Light Clay and take whatever item it has. Because it might be uh, Power Herb. It's got to be Power Herb with a uh, Amoongus. So we're, we are just going to snatch it off of it. Just so it doesn't have it. So if it does go for a Geomance, we are going to waste out a turn for it. Hopefully it does. That'd be crazy if he is going to go for it. We take his power herb, yep. And he's going to go for just a straight gleam. So he's not going to use his herb. He's going to do some damage onto my Sable. I just KO it. Okay. So I knew this one was going to be tough. I knew this one was definitely going to be tough. We waste out two turns from him so far. Here goes my Waterfall. Doesn't even do like any damage. This thing's bulky. He goes for Lightning and we're dead. We're dead here. Lightning's gonna KO us. So Lightning KOs us, and it comes down to my boy Rillaboom. And I honestly think my Rillaboom can clutch this one up for the boys back home. I really do think so. I really do think Rillaboom can clutch this one up. He has Xerneas. With, uh, what's Xerneas have? He has Light Clay, which is gonna do nothing for him. I'm gonna Dynamax my boy. He has no Dynamax. I knew this one was gonna be tough right from the get-go. Right from the get-go, I was like, yo, this team, this guy is a powerhouse of a team. It's looking very, very strong. Um, but we are going to rock out with this. Luckily, he is fairy typing, so we can actually eat up a couple shots. He has some Lapras, and I am going to Dynamax you. I could fake out turn one, but I am going to go for G-Max Drum Solo. And do I get after that Lapras? Yeah, I'm going to get after that Lapras. Hopefully, Lapras doesn't protect. It probably is going to protect me, but I should have went after Xerneas. But we are still going to set up the, uh, the G-Max move. It was going to have pester damage at the end of every single turn. I'm not giving up on this battle just yet. I am not. I'm not doing it. But I do wonder who he has in the back. If it is a Firemon, if it is, say, that Cinerase, then we still have rain out here for a couple of turns. Hopefully it's not the Cinerase. It, it's got to be the Cinerase, right? 100% it's the Cinerase. Dazzling comes out here. We, we have a Soul Fest up as well. And we should be able to KO this Lapras right here. Even through the G-Max Resonance. Okay. The Roar Veil? Yeah. We say, hey, yo, get out of here. I'm not too worried about that. 
that Xerneas. I'm gonna let that thing slide. The next, the next Pokemon is gonna be the annoying Pokemon. It's gotta be the Cinderace, right? I feel like we can win this battle if it's anything but the Cinderace. Again, we have Rain, which I am really liking. Is it gonna be Cinderace? Get it out of here. Of course, of course. I would have brought it too. Um, I kind of want to go in here because I know he's gonna outspeed, but I don't see him going for a fire move. I see him changing his typing. Hmm. I, I do see him changing his typing. I'd rather get a big stab move dropping, right? I'm gonna go for this because again, he outspeeds me. I don't think he's gonna go for a fire move in the rain. Let's see what he does. Xerneas protects, okay. I'm with that turn. And what are you gonna go for here? Change your typing. He's just gonna go straight for Pyro Ball, which we eat. The rain is definitely helping us out. Get after you. How much damage can we do on you? Not bad damage. Not bad damage at all. Okay, we do have Glide on this thing. Is that thing just gonna drop another Pyro Ball? We get some HP back here. That thing can't protect, so. What happened to my, uh, what happened to my pester damage? Wait, wait a minute. What happened to my, my damage at the end of the turn? Why'd it go away? Yo, what you mean? Why don't we get the damage at the end of a turn? I thought, I thought it was for four turns. Did, did we, like, cancel it out? Uh, I say we just take out the Cinder. I say we take out Cinderace. He doesn't. He definitely doesn't have protect. He's gonna gleam on me, and a Pyro Ball again. So if we take this thing out, we have a chance. We have a chance here. Of, bro, of course he gets to burn. Of course he gets to burn, right? Of course he gets to burn. Now we definitely lost this game. But I think we were lo losing regardless because he would have sped me. But this, this still picks up the KO. And the burn is gonna do a little bit of damage. We do get a crit, but we need like a crit on our grassy guy here. The grassy guys are last chance here to actually win this battle. Of course he gets to burn, man. Of course he gets to burn. But I'm confused, guys. Where did my damage go at the end of the turn? I know you guys are going to know. There's, there has to be a reason behind it. Because it only did it for one turn. It's supposed to last for four, right? It's supposed to last for four. Or actually, wait a minute. We don't get it. I don't think we get it. I think it's a Venusaur thing. How come I thought we saw we got damage at the end of a turn? <laughs> I gotta go for a glide. I don't know. This thing, our G-Max move just, uh, it's like, uh, Cinderaces. It just, like, ignores abilities or, like, boosts it and all that. That's why it's doing so much damage. But Grass Guy's gonna come out here. I think the burn's gonna help neglect a lot of this damage, and he's gonna pick up the victory here. Here goes my glide. My last chance. Give me a crit. Nope. Yeah. He eats it all day. He's really, really bulky, too. That's going to come out here, and he's going to pick up the win in battle number two. So I definitely made a mistake by even thinking that there's pester damage. I was thinking it's like the Venusaur move, but we ended up losing. We're one and one. Hard fought. Loss there, but we can hop into our third and final battle and look for a winning record for today's video. Definitely got a little confused with Rillaboom's G-Max move compared to Venusaur's G-Max move, but we figured it out in the end, and I knew that battle was going to be a tough one right off the get-go. He had a strong team, really countered up on me pretty hard, but we're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're going up against one of the best teams, I think, in the rank ladder right now. We got a Tornadus and Kyogre team, and how should I play this one? How should I really go after this? He has the Incineroar and the Kartana. I, I definitely want to bring Reshiram. I feel like Reshiram can be pretty solid here. I definitely want to bring uh, you for a potential fake-out on turn one. Um, gotta bring Rillaboom in the back. Do I lead you? Do I lead my boy him? Or do I go in with an Intimidate? He could bring Regilecki. If I don't like, I might lead Crocodile. Crocodile is not too bad here. He could go Intimidate as well. Let's say he goes with the uh, Tornadus. I don't like Rillaboom's not bad. He's not bad. I definitely want to bring in Rillaboom. Might lead you. I could protect this turn one. And I am going to go uh, Rillaboom. And I think we are going to end up going with you. Yeah, we're going to end up going Crocodile. I'm gonna end up going Crocodile over at Gyarados here, and we're not gonna be sh a be showing off Clefairy in today's battle. But Crocodile does do some work here, considering it's super effective to that Incineroar and also that Regilecki. So that's gonna help us out. It's gonna help us out a good bit. But he's got the boy Kyogre, and you guys know we don't like that. We don't like that Kyogre. And he also has the uh, Tornadus who can set the rain rain dance. But we do have a Sunny Day Sableye here, which is gonna be pretty nice. But he is gonna go in with that. Uh, okay, that's fine. He might set up a Tailwind here. He's gonna be able to get off an Intimidate. That's gonna do nothing for us. Um, I think Sableye should be able to get off a fake out before him. 
But I think we should be fine here. I think we should be chilling pretty good here. So I should fake out that Incineroar and get after it, maybe with an Earth Power. Fake you out. Get over here, boy. Get over here. And just drop an EP onto it. I think that's good turn one. He's probably going to set up a Tailwind. I can't take its item afterwards, which is probably his Sash. Let's see what happens. So who's going to protect? He's going to protect Tornadus here. That's lovely. That's a lovely turn one. I really do like that turn one. Fake out comes out from me. We're able to do that. Get a little bit of flinch action going and an Earth Power. So we just waste his turn. First turn, solid in our favor. So there's that beautiful life orb damage is going to dip us down. And he is, we are going to force a berry eat right off the rip. Um, another Earth Power does take out that Incineroar, which is huge. He flinches, and I believe we outspeed him. Let me check the speeds on this. Actually, let me take this. Uh, I'm definitely going to trick onto you. Take you, and I am going to uh, check the speed onto him. I should be able to outspeed Incineroar regardless. 142, yeah, I think that outspeeds an Incineroar. Because Incineroar has fairly similar speed to a Rillaboom. Yeah. So... I think we're fine with just dropping another Earth Power and rolling from there. And tricking onto that uh, Tornadus slot and taking this Focus Ash while it sets up a Tailwind. I think that's a fine turn one. I think that's a fine turn one. Tailwind's going to come out here. Yep. Give me your Focus Ash. You can have this Iron Ball. He's probably going to bring out Kyogre next turn. Give me your item, boy. Give me your item. Give me your item. Let me get it. What do we get? Sash? Yep. Okay, so we take his Focus Ash. Parting Shot's going to come out here. Oh, you... Yo, what you mean? You outspeed me? That's whack. Man, I was really thinking. I was like, yeah, it has decent speed, like, like, real boom. And then it outspeeds me. <laughs> so he's going to swap. We are going to go minus one. And what is he going to go? What is he going to go into? The Kyogre, probably? Yeah, here comes Kyogre. So I am going to set up a sunny day here. Drizzle's going to come out here. So we're definitely going to sunny day. Uh, it has the Tailwind up. Earth Power's going to come out here. Do a little bit of damage to this thing. Get it. But not bad. Do we get do we get the drop? We do not. We do not get the drop. So we're definitely gonna sunny day. And I can swap. With that sunny day activated, we can go into him actually. We can go into him. You no, know, because water still is gonna do a lot of damage. But we are soul bested. Hmm, what do I want to do here? I'm gonna go into him. But I think it's a fine swap. Because the thing in that I was worried about was the hurricane coming out here, but in the sun, we can hit 100%, or it misses 100% of the time, right? And then I can get a nice grassy guide off after this. He might Dynamax Kyogre. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. We're going to swap out the Rest Ram, and we're going to get out Rillaboom. I think he might be going for a Water Spout here. So the grassy terrain is coming out here. And what is he going to do? Is he Dynamaxing? Please don't show me he's Dynamaxing. He's not Dynamaxing, which is lovely. No way he reads our Sunny Day and goes into a Rain Dance like that. That would be crazy, Reed. I, he deserves a win if he does that. He really does. He hopefully goes into a hurricane. Let's do a water spout. Which we are able to eat up gorgeously. And he's going to go for a hurricane that's going to miss. Beautiful. Beautiful. Loves it. Uh, Grass guy definitely going to come out here. And he might rain dance. If he rain dances, we'll just, uh, we'll just go into Sunny Day next turn. But, in that case, I can take his item which i do want to do i gonna say yo give me your item and i am going to glide over onto you let's see what he does let's see what his play is now he might swap back into incineroar a smart play by me to actually swap in there knowing that hurricane's gonna miss in the heat and uh and he was gonna go for a water spout so he's gonna withdraw the kyrie he's gonna go back out into incineroar which is totally fine just totally fine so incineroar is gonna come out here uh, Trick is going to do nothing. He's going to get off a free Intimidate on me. Which is fine. This is a good battle. This is a good battle. But this is how, this is how we're going to have to play if we want to win this game. If we want to win this game, this is how we're going to have to play this one. This guy's going to do a little bit of damage. And Trick's going to come out here and do absolutely nothing. Alright, that's fine. Hurricane's going to come out here. I thought Hurricane cannot hit in the... Okay, that just dumps on me. But I thought Hurricane couldn't hit in the, in the heat. I thought that was a thing. Or does it just have like a lower chance? That's all good. It's no big deal. Um, hmm. What do I go into from here? I guess I just start throwing burns on Pokemon. We'll throw a burn on you. Uh, I can U-turn. But he's just gonna fake me out. If I can't get off a knockoff, I guess I'd rather U-turn, you know? Try to swap out. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get cooking here. But I think a fake out might take me out. But I would love to get off a nice little burn onto that, uh, that what's called. Of course we miss. Of course we miss. Hurricane's gonna come out here and it's gonna connect again. 
I'm surprised you are out speeding my Rillaboom now. Considering you have that Iron Ball. Boy, what's gonna come out here? He's gonna pick up the double KO. E, dude. Now that Kyogre looks like it's just gonna run me. I think that Kyogre pretty much has it locked now. Rough set of battles here. First battle went pretty well with our Reshiram. But going up against two very, very tough, tough teams in battle number two and three. It's just tough, man. He has a, oh, he has a Tailwind. That's what I totally forgot about. So we have the Scarf here. He's probably gonna set up another, another Tailwind. I am going to Dynamax my boy here. He might parting shot onto me. I don't like one bit. But I'm gonna Dynamax Fresh Ram as our last uh as our last little option. Crocodile coming out here. We are Scar. We are Scar. He's gonna be able to outspeed me all day once he sets up this next tailwind. Don't like this one bit. Turbo Blaze is coming out here. Turbo Blaze, yeah. Uh go for that high horsepower, because high horsepower can take it you out. No problem. And then I guess we'll Dynamax. Actually. If I go here. I think this would be a little bit better if I go here onto you and Dynamax and go for that max quick just for to get that special defense boost. But I think special defense boost is, is can give us a fighting chance up against uh, Kyogre, but I don't think it's going to do much. In that rain, he's probably holding the Mystic Water. He's just going to be able to roll out here and do a lot of damage to us. It's just tough. That is just tough, man. He's going to take Weather Advantage as well. Definitely scary. So he's going to get off a Tailwind. Only if you can miss Tailwinds. Only if you can miss them. Maybe I should have brought my Gary. Gyarados could have been good for a taunt. Yeah, he's definitely going to Tailwind. And he might protect you. Let's see what he does. There goes the Tailwind. I'm going to say by the Instant Horn. Hopefully, we can t if we can KO this uh this uh Tornadus here or Thunderous here. I don't think we are. It's not stab. So, we did a decent amount of damage. Probably lowered speed. Yeah. But parting shots can mm. I hate this game. I hate this game. We are gonna be able to get off a of max quake onto the uh the Kyogre though. Which could be good, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good one bit. Cause now we're minus one, which is ugly. He really parting shot on me. Oh, he saw us Regilecki? We didn't need to take out one mon? Oh man, we're gonna be able to take him out here. We should be able to, right? Even though we're minus one. Yeah, get him out of here. Man, I thought we took out a Pokemon. Yeah, we're getting dumped on this battle, dude. I'm telling you, this is the strongest team that go in, in the ladder. It's a Kyogre and Tornadus team. Like, this exact team. Like, I think I used this one to show off in a video. Yeah, I think it's the strongest team. This rest room is actually really good. We got to show them off in the first battle, which is good. And the second and third battle are hard-fought battles, but we're going to end up losing here, definitely. He still has an Incineroar, which he's probably going to bring back out. Get off a fake out. Let's see. Yep, yeah, and he's just gonna save his Kyogre for the back end. Just saving his Kyogre for the back end. He's gonna fake me out, and I'm gonna start boosting my special defense again. I mean, if we can get off this. Actually, no, we're n it's not gonna be able to pick up the KO, that's the thing. We're minus one. But I'm just gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. He's definitely gonna fake me out, regardless. He's gonna withdraw you, that's totally fine. You go into Kyogre, set the, the rain. Dude's going, trying to do me dirty. But now next turn, I can actually set the heat. And that might be able to help us out. But again, he outspeeds me all day. He's faking me out. He's not faking me out. So we can't get a speed drop onto him, which is pretty nice. Nice little speed drop onto the boy. But he is Tailwind. Running shots, yo. Can you stop it? Oh my god, yo. What a play. What a play, to be honest. He playing that exactly, so we're going into a quake onto that slot. Oh, good play by this guy. That was a smart play by him. I would have never thought to uh, do that. Swap the Kyogre in here to pull out the Tornadus just to pull him out on the other slot. A round of applause to this guy. I give him a, give him a little bit of clap skis there. But Quake's going over. Oh, wait. Oh, we have Turbo Blaze. <gasps> we have Turbo Blaze. It hits through abilities. Or no, it hits through like abilities and like flies and all that stuff. Yo, Turbo Blaze clutching for us. Okay. But we're still minus two and he still has a Dynamax. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this one bit. <laughs> Actually, Crocodile's gonna go minus three here. I don't like this one bit, man. This match is over with. Here comes Incineroar. Incineroar's clutching up, though. Bro, he thought he made the play of the century until Turbo Blaze came out. He's probably like, huh? What? What you mean? But yeah, uh, regardless, this one, this one's wrapped up. Oh, Trish Garfield, no rock team. Go here. 
I, I guess we'll worm win. I guess we'll worm win for stab. But this one's over. He's dying to max and he's just gonna win this battle. Even if we go into a heat move, he's just gonna change the weather back. So it's just like there's no point. There's no point. Hard fought third battle for the loss. Going one and two. At least we got ourselves a win for today's video. Got to show off Restoram. Restoram's definitely a cool Pokemon. But when you're going up against like meta teams like this, it's 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 hard to pick up wins for you guys. Because we are coming down to the last Pokemon that aren't really meta. For uh, showing off Restricted Series 8 Mons. But we actually have two Pokemon who are decently meta that we still have to show off. And that is Ice Rider, Calyrex, and Shadow Rider. So hopefully the next two videos we can actually show them off. I still have to get a Lunala team on my hands and a Chiron Black. I think those are my final Mons I really need to show off. And a Krozma. And a Krozma uh, in Solgaleo form and Lunala form. Gets off crit with that flinch. And guys are going to come out here and take out Krooks probably. Right? Krooks going to go down here. Yeah, bye bye Krooks. We're going to get ran here. We're getting ran here. It's over with. It's over with. Bye, Jeans. We're minus two on special attack. This is going to do no damage. Let's see. I think we just run and keep Reshiram alive. He's our boy. He's our boy. We can't let him get jumped in the alley, man. Can't let it happen. Not one bit. Not one bit. Yeah. All right, Reshi. Hard fought. Don't worry about it. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below out of the Pokemon that I just listed. Who would you guys like to see next? Maybe if we get enough comments, I'll uh, play him next in my next uh, Pokemon Ranked Battles video. You know, you win some, you lose some. Not a bad team here. I actually had a blast using it. It's actually very strong. We went up against two hard-fought battles in battles number two and three. Plus, we were going up against some top-tier meta teams with it. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.